Hey what's up everyone, welcome to my channel. So it's time for my pre-workout meal and well I'm going to eat watermelon plus 500 grams of zero fat yogurt. So let's just start. I'm going to measure the watermelon first. It's a very big watermelon. Let me show you some muscles. And I'm also going to show you my training. I don't know if it's going to be the full workout, uh, but whatever. Okay, let's measure the watermelon. 3600 grams, something like that. Obviously I'll have to measure the watermelon again after I finish eating. Just to see how many grams of actual fruit I ate. That's important. Okay. Um, well, let's start eating. Let's see if I can actually see everything. Okay, that's a little bit better. So, I'm currently on a bulk. Okay, that's sweet. Tastes very good today. Sometimes the watermelon doesn't taste very sweet. It depends. It's always different. So, uh, like I said, I'm on a bulk. It's a clean bulk. So, I'm not just going to eat 7000 calories every day, gain a bunch of weight. Most of it's going to be fat. That's not what I'm going to do. Obviously, I'm going to gain weight. But I'm not going to gain a lot of weight. Just to make sure that I'm not gaining a lot of body fat. But at the same time, I want to make sure that I'm gaining a lot of muscle fast. Obviously gaining muscle is not fast. Takes a very long time. And obviously I'm not a novice anymore. So I won't just gain all of muscle quickly. So it's going to take some time, but it's fine. I mean, it's just part of the game. As you keep gaining more and more muscle, it slows down, but you're still gaining muscle. Still gaining a lot of muscle, but you actually have to gain weight over time. You don't have to gain 10 pounds in 2 to 3 months. Because obviously, most of that weight is going to be fat. You won't gain 10 pounds of muscle in a few months. I don't care. If you do 50 sets for every muscle, just won't make a difference. You have to be realistic, but at the same time, you have to believe that you're going to make a lot of progress. Because when you believe that, 
for example, if you believe that if you have great genetics, you're more likely to train hard, you're more likely to stay consistent, you're more likely to stick to our diet. And this means that you're going to make better progress. And I believe that. So you can gain a lot of muscle as a natural, believe me. Obviously, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some weight gain. It's going to take some bulking. But bulking doesn't mean gaining a bunch of body fat. It means gaining weight to gain muscle and it doesn't have to be a lot of weight gain you can gain weight slowly but you have to gain weight over time I mean I'm currently around 190 pounds in the past I was around 180 pounds so I successfully gained 10 pounds and I would say that I'm leaner now obviously I wasn't that strong in the past I was small you can check out my older videos you can see that I was kind of small but again my training in the past was not on point it wasn't good I wasn't training hard my diet was not good I was eating a lot of junk and right now I'm eating all healthy whole foods like watermelon, melon chicken breast I drink milk, wool fat milk I eat zero fat yogurt apples just different fruits so I'll be bulking for for some time and you're going to see all of eating eating and talking and some training but I'm going to be eating decent amount of calories I'm probably going to start on 3000 to 3500 calories every day eat that amount of calories for two weeks and measure myself measure my weight every day when I wake up see if I'm gaining any weight if I don't gain any weight for after two weeks of just being on 3500 calories I don't gain any weight that's probably close to my maintenance calories so I'll have to increase my calories a little bit increase my calories by 200 calories and again in two weeks probably going to start gaining weight and obviously as I keep gaining more and more muscle I will 
we have to eat more calories to just keep gaining weight. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Keep protein high enough. Like I don't, I don't have to eat over 200 grams of protein on the bulk. I, I've seen the studies. You don't really get any, any ben any benefit from just eating a lot of protein. need like 1.6 grams of or 1.5 grams of pro protein per uh, per kilogram of body weight so uh, well if you're 100 kilograms you're going to require between 150 to 160 um, grams of protein every day. So, do I really need more than that on a bulk? Probably not. Because protein is expensive. So, I can't afford to spend a lot of money and a lot of people are just like me they need the money so on the bulk you don't need you don't need a lot of protein You don't really need that much, so that's that's great. You can just fill the rest of your calories with carbs, maybe fats, but I'm going to keep my fats low. eat like a wall of carbs for my to get my calories and that's what I'm going to do every single day for some time I'm really going to work on just gaining muscle on bulking And I'm going to stick to it. I really want to gain more muscle. I know it's going to take some time. But I'm just going to try to enjoy the process. I'm going to eat foods that I enjoy the most. I'm going to make sure that my training is fun. A training program that I enjoy. And I'm just make sure that I do a training program that I'm going to stick to. So about consistency it's not about just training with some magic training program the magical training program
so something else too. I'm I'm really going to focus on just building my apps, just building that six pack. I have the potential for for six pack, but I have to build my war apps. So for war apps, I would say it's the hanging crackers. The best war app exercise, obviously, leg raises. They work the whole abs, the whole ab muscle. But it's one of the functions of the war abs. It's really going to work the war up fibers muscle fibers and that's what I need I'm going to do a lot of volume probably at least at least 15 sets a week for my apps and obviously like this is not going to be the only exercise that I'm going to be doing I'll be doing the weighted sit-ups again when I go very hard on weighted sit-ups I can feel my lower apps and I just have to do more than one exercise to fully build the muscle so that's exactly what I'm going to do this is a very big watermelon keep in mind But I'm going to show you the full meal. If you enjoy watching me eat, that's what I'm going to do. I enjoy eating, so Just focus on bulking. A clean bulk. Just make sure that I don't gain a bunch of body fat. Take my time. I'm still going to build a lot of muscle. You have to make sure that. Training is on point. I don't leave all the herbs in reserve. It's going to make sure that I get the most out of each set. So I'm going to have to do all sets and just waste my time because that's what I used to do before. Just leave all the herbs in reserve. You have to do crazy amount of volume just to get the same growth that I would get from doing class sets. So I'm going to give you an example. First of all, you don't know how many reps you have left in reserve, you don't know that. You can't tell, you probably have more than you believe that you do. So first of all, you can't really tell. So, how do you really know if you are leaving only 2 reps in reserve? 
so you're probably leaving gains on the table. So start just leaving the reps in reserve. Oh, that was a huge meal. I feel like I just finished with the watermelon. And have to let's measure the watermelon. Wow. Okay, let's see. It was 3600. Now it's it's 1770. How much is that? It's close to two kilograms of just watermelon or just fruit so that's close to 600 calories now the deal of the earth it's, it has 55 grams of protein or else it's uh, 500 grams So that's a lot of protein. And it's a uh, very high quality protein. The protein from milk is very good. It's a very high quality proteins. I'm feeling very full right now. Let me show you. Oh. So all the fruit. Later tonight, I'm going to eat the other half of the watermelon. <laughs> so that's I just saw all the fruit. Oh, all the fruit. So. I enjoy eating fruits. Watermelon and melon, they're probably my favorite fruits right now. Yeah, sometimes, like I already said, sometimes the watermelon is not that sweet. So, it's always different. It's always different, so. Just finish with my yogurt Let's lift some weights now. So I'm going to start with wide grip apart rows and I'm going to do a few sets of the wide grip apart rows then I'm going to move on to a more narrow grip apart row just to work over the muscle fibers in the shoulder. So we see this exercise is not just a shoulder exercise it also works the forearms and the biceps Obviously not the best biceps exercise, but still it's going to give you some extra volume on top of your direct biceps work. So yeah, I'm going to start now. I'll be using 50 kilograms, that's 110 pounds. So let's start lifting.
second set. Third set. So about my training program, sometimes I just train the same muscle two days in a row, maybe sometimes even three times in a row, three days in a row. But obviously I switch rep ranges. Usually if I train muscles more frequently, I use a higher rep range. For example, at least five reps on every set, so I'll either wait. Just because slider weights they are easier on our tendons, joints, connective tissue. So it's easier to recover from that. And again, when you take sets to failure or close to failure, you get the same amount of muscle growth. The rep range, it's not going to make a big difference in my opinion. If any difference. So... I don't think it's going to make really any difference. But keep in mind I don't train like that all the time. Fraps. Now I'm going to move on to Cole's grip upright throws. The same weight, same reps maybe. Okay, I'm doing climbing sets on all of my sets. I'm currently on a bulk so I can I can do some extra volume to grow more. Obviously I can't just do unlimited amounts of volume because I won't be able to recover from that. Because calories they help, the good diet helps but only up to a point and you're just gaining fat if you over it more than that more than you actually need to so and the same with volume you just can't recover from that extra volume that you're doing so you have to be careful with that obviously I can tell when I'm doing too much volume so I can always reduce my volume a little bit if I see that I'm not recovering. try to be very fast on my reps on this set and I was able to do I was actually able to do more reps 
because of the fast switch muscle fibers they get activated and now I'm going to do some dumbbell water raises for my side delts obviously I can do more on this exercise I can use a heavier weight but heavier weights don't always feel good for my shoulder so I'm just going to stick to lighter weights just do more reps I already did the heavier upright rows to go sets to failure so I don't have to take absolutely everything Yeah, this feel good. Obviously I can do a lot more reps, but I'm just trying to get a pump, it's everything. I'm also going to do a little bit of biceps, just a few sets of lightweight higher up dumbbell curls build the connective tissue and tendons of the biceps You know what, I should just superset the water raises with the curls, but yeah, maybe that's what I'm going to do. Just finish with my workout faster. Obviously if I rest a little bit longer, I'll be able to do more reps, more reps, because obviously I'm still, still recovering from my last set. But 
whatever. able to do a lot more reps so maybe the supersets are not a very good idea for two exercises only okay so I had to take a longer break between my set Shorter times, they're not ideal for muscle growth, for performance, maybe for building endurance, but I'm still not sure about that because you're able to do less reps. So, even if you're trying to build your endurance, being able to just do more and more probably not ideal again I can feel that my shoulders are already fatigued I can't handle as much now curls I just get a pump my arms get pumped forearms everything just I get pumped by pumped by holding the, the dumbbells so it's not fun <sighs> <sighs> 